I think we need another moratorium on Oh boxes. dear. <laughs> we unlocked the, the safe door and everything came rushing in. Yeah, <laughs> quick. Ah! Hold it, shoot! That door's a son of a gun. We're gonna have to see. I mean, there might be no Mac here. It might be Mac Plus. Yeah, that would be great. It just, it activates uh, a certain stress in me to know yeah. the moment I open it, it's expiring. Yes. So why don't we start with, I actually had already opened this one yep. knowing it wasn't a Mac. This is somebody who is a fan of the podcast Whoa. primarily and made us a custom red cow action figure. Holy cow. That is so cool. And now I don't know why, but it comes with a little pizza slice. I believe this was a Ninja Turtles action figure at some point. Uh, so it started with this kind of minotaur. Oh, and look, he's got false graph. Oh, <laughs> he does. Is there are there false graph accessories in Dude, there? Dude, it's a there's a false graph shield. Oh my goodness. Oh, a spear of Mac. It's got a noodle. Oh, a noodle. it's got a noodle. I love it. It's got a a, a, a bag. Look at that. A false graph shield. Can we outfit him? Oh, uh, absolutely. Ah, Max it's here. magnetic. Yes, that's so smart. Whoa. So this is basically John. You're basically looking at an action figure of John Hunt. Yes, if I was an action figure. If you got drenched in some ooze. In the in the Red Cow comic universe, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Frankie. Just me. Just you, fine. A couple of weeks ago, I came up with the idea of making a Red Cow Entertainment themed action figure. And so I started searching for the best figure to customize. I picked this Narnia Minotaur guy. Oh. This was my first time customizing and airbrushing it, and it kind of shows, but overall I think it gets my vision across and I'm happy with him. I hope you are too. Not sure what this warrior's name is, Rojo? But he is well equipped for a glorious battle, wielding not only the mysterious Spear of Mac, the sharpest and well-salted pike in all the land, but also he has acquired the unshakable false graph shield, a protector impervious from even the strongest of reversing driver seats. He also has a satchel of shells and cheese, a TMNT toy, and a slice of pirate's pizza. He is the hero we deserve and need. Hope you find my little gift funny, if not cool. It was really fun making it and I couldn't think of anyone who needed his own action figure more than you. My wife and I, she donated the mini brand Max, which John has been using to <laughs> yes. entertain his nephews. Entertain my nieces and nephews. They love it. They love playing with it. Both love watching all your YouTube shows and I have been catching every podcast you guys release. Thanks for everything. Good luck to everything you do in the future. We'll be watching. Does that say Dean SP? Yes, I think so from Clubburn, Texas. Well, I really I like just love it. the false graph shield especially. Yeah, and I love the spear too. I can't, I can't say it enough. So there's a humongous one. This is actually also heavy. Maybe it'll be a Cisco switch because <laughs> it is in a Cisco box. And if it's a Cisco switch, I can put it to use. That'd be great. You guys needed this 48 port, uh, one gig capable. Yeah, um, a WLAN controller, I could use one of those. Oh yeah, here's some refurbed enterprise network gear. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my goodness. Oh Lord, oh my God. Wait, I think I opened the bottom. Should I flip it? I think you're in. I'm in. We're in. We're in. I see a couple of things we've done before, like Wegmans. We've done that one. Tops, I don't know if we've done. We have, but I don't know if we've done like, those particular. These. And you got to remember, Max change over time. <laughs> Redo the whole show. Yeah. And he sent dupes of each Mac. I'm doubled up. Does he think we're hungry? I guess it's in case we really like them. It's the entire Tops library here. Now this is the kind of thing, this is exciting to me. Oh. Oh, for John. For me. Buffalo love. I love it. What a lovely reusable bag. For Gloria. Oh. A very girly boxing, which she would love. Oh my God, it's chocolates. Buffalo's best sponge candy milk and dark chocolate. Whoa. Why is it for Gloria? We like chocolate too. He's like, no, no, no. I sent you a thousand tops, Max. Yeah. You will eat Mac. You will eat no chocolate. Send the gift of Buffalo's original sponge candy nationwide. I don't even know what sponge candy is. Whoa. Whoa. Here's a so uh, is this person from Buffalo? I think they might be. <laughs> a solid chocolate buffalo. Who's gonna eat that? I mean. Eat his fupa down there. Uh, I'll eat the fupa. <laughs> Does anybody want the fupa? I don't yeah, like it. Yeah. For EJ. I think there's a lot of EJ goodness in there. Oh, it's like a marinade. Oh, barbecue barbecue marinade. marinade. It says no MSG, so you should add MSG. Uh, Chavetas? Chavetas. Sha Shia Chiavetas? You're asking the wrong person. Chiavetta. This secret family recipe first gained prominence over 60 years ago at hundreds of volunteer fire departments. Discover its great ability to keep meats and poultry tender and juicy right on your own grill. Shake well, no refrigeration needed. We have a potluck just today, don't we? I know, we could, we uh, do. You could dump that stuff all over all the food. <laughs> oh, this one's for you too, yeah, Joe. Well, well, it's like Christmas. You look through the presents, you have to like, 
put some aside so you don't give one person all the presents. There's like 13 packages for you, EJ. My guess is there's a barbecue theme. Dinosaur barbecue. It's a um, Wango Ooh. Tango Habanero. That sounds awesome. That sounds delicious. Yeah, Syracuse, New York barbecue. I have family in Syracuse and they always talk about dinosaur barbecue. Wow. I love things that are spicy and uh, habanero and tanginess sounds great. Oh. Yeah. oh. Weber's horseradish Ooh. prepared mustard. That's like I said, I love spicy stuff. I, I, you know, when I eat stuff, I want to, I want to feel something. I want to get punched in the face. Yeah. I can get you scissors if you like. I got it. I'm just gonna stab it until it's open. <laughs> Duff's famous wings, hot sauce. Duff's. Ooh. Not to be confused with the Simpsons branded beer. In West Springfield, there was a pop-up. Moe's Tavern. Yeah. They did for like a couple days and like people dress up as Simpsons yeah, and go. Yeah. Original Anchor Bar hot sauce. Well. World famous hot sauce. Well. Wow. Gourmet after Ooh. sauce. Boss sauce is an all natural gourmet sauce. Enhance the flavor of any meat, fish, or dish. Oh, so after you've cooked it, you add this or before or anytime you want? Ah, oh, this is another Duff's. This is the char barbecue sauce. This is more of a barbecue Ooh. sauce. Maybe I'll try it on our barbecue. Or Mac. Oh, barbecue Mac. This is an area we haven't explored much. That's true. And yet we tend to order it at restaurants. True. Barbecue Mac or Buffalo Mac. Buffalo is one of my favorites. Blue cheese all baked into it. Uh, yeah, like blue cheese is. I just love that stuff. Beef on Vec mix. Brush the top of Kaiser rolls with an egg wash and the rec mix is sprinkled on top. That's some sort of seasoning for rolls. They want you to take the rolls! <laughs> There's more EJ in there. More EJ, more, more EJ, EJ, more EJ. EJ. Bar Bill Tavern. Famous wing sauce. Yeah, this guy is just giving me all the sauces he can find in New York. Do you feel like you're running out of things to say about each of them? <laughs> I hold in my hand the last okay. DJ item. All right, which New York sauce is this? <laughs> Lenova. It's the official hot buffalo Ooh. wing sauce. All these are the original or the <laughs> official, the... Authentic. That would have particular appeals to me for some reason. Yeah, I don't know I, why. The orange? Yeah. Yeah. It makes me want to cook a nice dish with it. You can make a chicken number three with that. Oh. You know, a brand new chicken dish? This is called chicken number two. There's <laughs> only two chicken dishes I make, chicken number two and chicken number five. We have a lovely item here for Nina. Oh, who's she? Oh, she's gonna love these. Yeah. Pure maple sugar. Sugar! sugar. Powdered sugar! Like little maple candies. Yeah. She loves that sort of thing. Also, I got another one here for me. Oh, it's some lovely maple syrup. Maple syrup from the Merrill Maple Company. Wow, I've never had New York maple syrup. Usually you get the Vermont. Right. You get the New Hampshire. Never had New York. I make um, French toast, uh, waffles. I like pancakes. French toast. French toast is underrated. It absolutely is. And you know, just recently I learned you actually are supposed to toast the bread. I was just sopping new bread and egg. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to toast the bread, then sop it in. Does it improve it significantly? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Makes a big deal. That's the best way to save stale bread. And yeah. why not throw a little bit of this on? Oh, a little bit of... A... All right, we have one for everyone. Frankie, why don't you open this one for everyone? I represent the everyone, everyone. category. You do, I think. Some sort of liquid solution. A liquid solution? Oh. Oh. There we are. Crystal Beach Bottling Company, Loganberry flavored beverage syrup. Do you make some sort of like drink with it? Do we make Loganberry milk? I thought it was bubble solution at first. You just blow, blow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm fascinated. What is Loganberry? It's a berry, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued. For anyone. For anyone. Is that still me? You're anyone. Yeah, you are too. <laughs> We're both anyone. <laughs> Lloyd Rocket Sauce. We know you eat this. Yet another sauce. But this one is for anyone. This is probably too spicy for me, judging by the rockets on it. We do have a letter. May I? Yes. It's multi-page. Do you remember this? Yeah. When you were in school, you'd go up to what we in Massachusetts is called the bubbler, and not the fountain, yeah. the water fountain, but the bubbler. And there'd be like one kid just slurping on it for yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, because the flow was really out with poor. It. Some guy behind him would go, yo, save some for the fish. Yeah. He would. I feel like this is save some for the fish. <laughs> yeah. save, save some for the buffalo. Yeah, do you have anything left in buffalo? <gasps> hey, Red Cow Gang. I recently discovered your content through the Cinemassacre mm -hmm. stuff, and I've been hooked on all your content since. I hope I don't offend anyone on the crew, but I like to think of Red Cow as the perfect old people content. Oh, we're old people? <laughs> the f this is what happens what? When, when you're in your early 20s and you watch <laughs> People in their late 30s, early 40s, you're like, this is for old people. people. <laughs> in the sense that in a typical Box Mac episode, the majority of the time is spent talking about things other than the Box Mac. 
a junt's cart will just be everyone walking around living life, et cetera, et cetera. Well, how is that inherently old person? Maybe. I, is it because like yeah. old people are like, uh, 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 you know, absent-minded, so <laughs> instead of talking about the Mac, I'm talking about things from my childhood. <laughs> Let me tell you, I was pretty similar at 20 to how I am now, just a little more high energy. As a matter of fact, when he was 22, he used to like grieve about how he felt old. Yes, absolutely. Basically things that I wouldn't care to watch in my younger days, how dare you? How, how um, dare you? But now that I'm past my mid twenties, getting old, <laughs> I find it quite enjoyable. I started a new job recently, straight out of university, and I'm adjusting to working life. So I like to watch random episodes of Box Mac on my lunch break. Things have been beyond stressful. So thank you for all the hard work you've done over the years. On to the package contents. I'll start with the Mac stuff. I live in Buffalo, New York, and this is home to the headquarters of the supermarket chain called Tops. Full name, Top Friendly Markets. It is the main competitor to Wegmans around upstate New York, and both are headquartered within a two hour drive of each other. Most people in upstate New York prefer Wegmans for the cheaper pricing and great customer service. However, the specialty selection in Tops can sometimes be better, and Tops are spread out all across upstate New York, unlike Wegmans, where they only set up shop in heavily populated areas. So why did I give you that entire backstory? Yes, why did you? Yeah, and I'm the old person. <laughs> yeah. Now Tops is a different one than Wegmans. <laughs> Well, a long time ago, you guys reviewed two Box Macs from the Topps brand. One was a Top Spiral. I do love the font. Another was a Topps brand called Italian Size Truffles and Mac, a Box Mac episode 84, where the Mac was also well received. Seeing as how you guys did Wegmans twice already, once liking them and the second time disliking them, I proposed the idea to bring Wegmans back for one final episode to wrap up the trilogy, the final battle of upstate New York, Topps versus Wegmans. There's also a entire second page. Yes. EJ. A lot of sauces, a marinade, and a beef on weck seasoning kit with horseradish sauce. I'm hoping he may be interested in doing a special EJ Cooks episode centered around Buffalo, New York, and its foods, mainly featuring different buffalo wing comparisons and trying beef on weck, a buffalo specialty. For John, I've included a buffalo bag for his love, love of shopping and some local pure maple syrup. He purchased maple syrup once on John's cart, so I hope it makes a good gift. I have a container of maple syrup in my fridge that I've had for about six years. Maple syrup lasts forever, and we're getting to the end of it, so I might want to get a new one. Grade A, dark color, robust taste. For Frankie, I included a set of candy that's a Buffalo Specialty Sponge Candy. The set includes both milk and dark chocolate candies. I've personally never been a fan, but I hope you might like it. <laughs> for, I don't recommend these, but... <laughs> <laughs> gonna give your daughter some. For Nina, I included a set of local pure maple sugar candies. Fun fact, this is my first time gift shopping for a vegan. It was challenging, but I'm glad I was able to find something special and hope you enjoy it. For Gloria, I have a milk chocolate buffalo from a local chocolatier. And lastly, for everyone, if possible, I included a Loganberry syrup set. Loganberry is a popular drink here in Buffalo and Southern Ontario. There's instructions on how you can make your own Loganberry drinks on the bottle. Give it a try and see how you like it. I hope you all enjoy the care package. And if you're ever in Buffalo, give me a holler. Well, um, what an amazing box. Should we try the sponge candy? Absolutely. Just the sponge candy. Sure. Just a tip. Just the tip and only for a minute. Just the tip, just for a second, just to see how it feels. Darker milk. Milk, please. <laughs> I like that you weren't interested in trying the other one. It wasn't dark and or milk, it was darker milk, though. So. Have a sponge candy, he doesn't recommend it. <laughs> he doesn't recommend it. <laughs> doesn't recommend it. It's like an airy Butterfinger. Mm. There's an inside, I'm guessing it's a, uh, what do you call it, like malt? It's not what I was expecting at all. I, th I thought we were gonna have chocolates, but it's like a Whopper or whatever those yeah. are called, Whoppers. But not as bad. Quite good, actually. Yeah, I think it's pretty tasty. Become, I've become a big chocolate fan, I gotta tell you. Nina um, loves dark chocolate, like the darker the better. Like, yeah. it, like it, it, it ought to taste like bitter soil to her. <laughs> <laughs> good chocolate on both. Quite dark. Yeah. In the scheme of things. I think I prefer the milk of the two. It feels a little weird as you chew it. Did you get that? Like it, it, it kind of gums up your teeth a little, which I'm not. Tremendous. But not as bad as a Butterfinger. We all enjoy a Butterfinger, but we're not gonna buy Butterfingers because no. it's a dental nightmare. All right, well, I think that's good for this unboxing, don't you? Absolutely. And then there we'll is. launch into some more. Later that very same year. Do you like presents? Somebody got you a buffalo chocolate. A whole buffalo. A whole buffalo of chocolate. Nina, these are for you. These are pure maple sugar from Buffalo. I didn't know that New York was in the, the maple syrup. Yeah, I got some syrup too. New York has trees too, man. How do you like those? Good, they're different than the Vermont ones. Wait, is that the red cow? Yes. Red cow. <laughs> it's got a, a false graph shield. Johnny's favorite treats. Yeah, well, you're right, they are. You can see them everywhere. We're what? learning that the Loganberry is 0% juice. It's 0% juice. Uh, juice. So what is it? Ingredients, glucose. Sugar. Are you kidding me? They put together a beautiful combination of fat, sugar, and salt. When you put together fat, sugar, and salt, wow. 